Terry was talking about the churches. There's churches out there for anything that you want. It takes more than hiding behind the church membership group. A lot of them, they'll say, well, you just cut as you ought. And I believe Verse number 44. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body. There is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. 
Howbeit that was not the first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And after that which is spiritual, the first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As in the earth, earthy, such are they also that are earthly. And as in the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we was, have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Doeth corruption inherit incorruption? Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we all, but we shall all be changed. I want you to remember that. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruption shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Thank you for standing this morning. But uh, I, I begin to think about, and, and the Lord kind of confirmed the thought that was on our heart uh, whenever there's a saying in it. Uh, some testifying got to mention about change, and and I want to I want to I want to I want to preach just just for a second this morning on a change that's got to take place. Amen. 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 Just a change. Amen. 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 It's got to take place. But uh, now I read to you uh, on a, on a good part about change, about how we're all going to be changed, brother David. Uh, whenever the great day of the Lord comes and He comes back. Uh, for his people and for his church, uh, we're all going to be changed. Amen. We're all going to get us that are ready. Amen. We're going uh, to be changed from this body. Amen. We're going to get to lay down this body in the earth, and the soul is going to get to go live. Amen. With the Lord. Amen. I've said uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. So let's, let's go on. I want to try to talk to us. Uh, not so much about that this morning, uh, but I want to try to help us on a change that's got to take place uh, before you can be changed. Amen. Now, although a lot of people in the day's time, uh, they're, they're living a life, amen, before others and, and before each other that they ain't no change. And I thought about what you said, Paul, very true this morning about what Paul was talking about, uh, the, the church world and the change uh, that you need to see in the church world. Amen. There is no change. It don't look like uh, in the air that we're living in. Everybody claims the name of Christ. Everybody claims the name of being a Christian, but nobody uh, wants to be different. Amen. But uh, nobody wants to be, uh, nobody wants to stand out and say, I'm going to be different for the Lord. Uh, nobody wants to stand out and say, I'll, I'll bear the reproach, I'll bear the marks. Amen. For the cause of the cross. Amen. There ain't many folks like that down in, in today's time. Amen. Everybody wants the popularity. Everybody wants the name. Amen. Everybody wants just to uh, fit in and be welcome in. And you young people, listen to me. I know you want to fit in. Yeah. I know you want to you want to be and you want to people to think a lot of you. And you want everybody to think that you uh, that you're just the coolest thing since apple butter. Amen. But that's not what it's going to take to get to heaven. Amen. It's going to take a change. Amen. On the inside of your heart. Amen. That'll change you and change your desire. Amen. That'll change your walls. That'll change your walk. Amen. That'll change your talk. Amen. Change the places you go. Amen. 
Amen. They've got to be a difference somewhere. Amen. They have to be a change. Now I'm going to tell you but this morning if you come down to the altar and you get and you, and you pray and you say uh, that the Lord saves you, there's going to be a change uh, that will take place in your life. Yeah. If there's not no change in your life, it's evident fact that you ain't got it. Yeah. Amen. You say, preacher, you can't touch me. Oh, no, but the Bible says that you know a tree uh, by the fruit that it bears. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If an apple tree is dead, oh, why would I go out there and pick apples off of a dead apple tree? Amen. I'm looking at the Bible. So I believe with all my heart that uh, the Bible said uh, that the way the tree falls, so shall it get up. If I go down wrong, I'm going to get up yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 
Adam, and Adam was made, let's see, I believe I missed part of that verse. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last man was made a quickening spirit. How be it, that was not the first, which is a spiritual, but that which is natural, and after that which is spiritual. The man, the man first, the first man is of the earth, earthy, and the second man is of the is the Lord from heaven. Amen. Now I want to tell you, Amen. We can live through life, Amen. Do our own what we want to do, Amen. But that soul is going somewhere. That soul's going somewhere. Every one of us is. I don't know how many's here this morning. Amen. But every one of you's got a soul. And you're going somewhere. Amen. Amen. We ain't got no time to play games with God. We ain't got no time to say I'll wait. Yeah. I'll do it later. Amen. Yeah. The days are coming. I believe like Paul said before we get out the door. Yeah. The Lord can come back. Yeah. And that soul is going somewhere. If you either you've been changed or you've not been changed. Yeah. Amen. 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 He said, here's what he said, Aaron. Verse number 50. He said, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doth corruption inherit corruption. Uh, now, some people fall out with me right here. Amen, but that's okay. We'll agree to disagree. Amen, there, I believe that he said, flesh and blood uh, cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Uh, now, I mean personally. Amen, this flesh is not going there. Amen, it ain't going there. Amen, so I don't believe, amen, that I'm going to get to walk up and say hello, mama. I believe I know my mama's spirit. Amen, that's how I know my mama. I won't know her by her face. I will not know her by her voice. But I will know y'all with me tonight. Amen, but I will know.
amen, that quick, that quick, you're changed. Just like that, Brother Todd. Amen, you're changed. Amen. How quick? What will it happen? Amen, it will happen just at the snap of your finger. Amen, you'll be changed. Amen, one day, hallelujah. Amen, some, some, some people say, I think when I get there, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I don't believe any of us today, if we get to go to heaven and be changed and get that robe, amen, that we're going to get to wear and to get to sing in the angel of fire, I don't believe there's going to be anything that we're going to want to do but stay down at the pastor's feet and worship him yes. under what he's done for us and thank him for how he's There's a better change coming. I, I look over. 
know where some of you just laughing. Well, I didn't know a lot of your friends were lost. There's some of you that I knew when you were backslidden out in the world. There's things that I, I think about like Paul. I didn't know Paul when he was lost. Glad I didn't. So I'm glad I didn't. But I hear what Paul tells me about how bad it used to be. And I can look at Paul and I can say, Paul, I've been changed. Yeah. Paul ain't that man no more. Amen. Some of you I can look at over your life and your testimony you've given me. And I can say, you've been changed. But there's some of you that the world are looking at and are saying, where's the change? Where's the change? There's some of us that we're just a bite of a tire to get another change. To be changed from this world to God. I want to ask you to do a soul search this morning. Mm -hmm. Come to the end of your place. Do a soul search just for me. Are we changed? Are we changed? You say, well, preacher, I, I come to church every service. That don't matter. Church membership don't mean nothing. My name being on a book, Brother Paul, God don't really care about that. God really don't care if my name's on a book or not. They want one book that it matters to the Lord. Whether my name is David or not. That's the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah, thank you, Lord. That's all that matters to you. Change. Why everybody standing to your feet this morning? Right. Say, preacher, I want people to notice the difference in my life.